So let's see, folks. Over the weekend, we had Donald Trump saying that there would be a bloodbath if he didn't win the election. And then we also had him calling immigrants, uh, the Mexican immigrants and people that are trying to cross the border for a better life. He called them animals. So I guess we can uh, presumably just start treating them like we would animals, right? Uh, I think that's what he wants us to do. But, you know, when we're talking about animals, folks, there's there's a certain animal nature, um, I guess is the best way to put it, when you, when you are discussing Donald Trump, a little bit of an animal nature and particularly the smell. Uh, you know, sometimes animals don't clean themselves, etc. cetera, uh, barnyard animals, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, we don't expect them to, right? But Donald Trump, we do, right, expect him to clean himself. And to that end, listen to Kathy Griffin talking about some of the smells coming from Donald Trump, with Mary Trump, by the way. It has a distinct smell that doesn't really get enough press. It's like body odor mm. with kind of like a scented makeup products, but you can smell the hair products even outdoors. Don't make that face. I'm just being honest. I know. Oh boy. I, well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe somebody needs to make a candle with that scent. Oh yeah. God, no, that, no. Fly off the shelves, right? Fly right off the shelves. Christmas. But you know, other people have gone a little deeper than that, folks. And here is someone from, I guess the apprentice, I think it is the show that he used to have that award winning illustrious show that he used to have going a little deeper into this animal sort of instinct and odor that seems to follow Donald Trump. Have a listen to this. The diapers is not a joke. It depends, you know, diaper Don is trending, but it's based in reality. He would often soil himself on the apprentice set. He's incontinent from all the speed. Oh, God. The Adderall he does, the cocaine that he's done for decades. This is a kid's show. It has a laxative and it has an effect on your on your bowels. And his <sighs> are uncontrollable. He's oh, worn God. diapers since probably the 90s. But I saw it firsthand in the 2000s on Celebrity Apprentice in late 2000s. And we'd have to uh, stop the show and and change him. You know, and what? it was Keith Schiller's job. He would take him off set. He would wipe him down. Our nickname for Keith was Wet Wipes. Wet Wipes. It's not a joke. It's happened several times. And um, you've seen it happen while he's in office. You've seen he was in the Oval Office with Erdogan, and you could clearly hear him sort of evacuating himself. He did it in front of Senator Feinstein. Oh, Lord. Uh, Diane Feinstein at a, uh, at a press conference. Mm, so I'll see if I can get he, the video. He does it, and he almost sits there like an unaware of it. You know, and I one mm. time I saw Ivanka have to go kind of whisper in his ear and then Keith came and took him off stage. He'll also do it in a rage. And this is where it gets really drug. -related. Really? He'll start to freak out. You know, freak out. There was the word I've seen it on a cue card. Arbitrage. Arbitrage. Keyword. The, you know, the script department was setting him up. You're setting me up. And he just oh God, freaked no. out. And really? Very loudly. Arbitrage. Arbitrage. You could smell it. You know, and the guy who was holding the boom bike, Mike you know, was tearing up. So uh, that's where the nickname, the S-H-I-T -S -S show came from. That was the crew nickname for Celebrity wow. Apprentice. I so don't believe it. Don, it's not a joke. He tries to hide it. I'll give you one more fact. If you look up the video of him when he was doing the WWF thing, he, he tackles a guy on the ground outside of the ring, and you can clearly see the outline of the Depends in his Oh, pants. goodness. And that was back in the early 90s. So he's lost control of his bowels. He's lost control of his brain. It's like, a, it's, 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 diaper it's worse than an animal. Well, I did manage to find the video of Senator Feinstein. And here it is, folks. Have a look. And, and let's see if we can pick the exact moment that he was referring to when the deed was done. Right there. Did you hear it? Right there, folks. Let's just rewind that just a little bit. Have it again. Let's hear it again. So today oh. Did you see her? Oh. Mm, something happened. Something happened. And she heard it. She smelled it. I, I know it, folks. I, I, I believe it. Right there, there, there was something there. And I don't think he wears Depends. I think he wears Prevail. 
right? Prevail. That's that's the diaper for a president. Prevail. And folks, it it's it could be something as innocuous as what he described, you know, in terms of Th that actually happening and the 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 incontinence and everything but it could be more of just let, let's err on the side of caution maybe he just doesn't know how to use a bidet he could have one of these right and he's just not getting the angle quite right uh he god hope it let, let god help us if he's wearing oh geez if he's got one of these you know where you have to cup your hands under the water oh god <clears throat> or he could have one of these bidets you know uh, that you actually have to get the angle just right. And if you don't get the angle just right, things things don't quite work out like you expect. And I mean, there's there's a lot to line up here. And that's that that's a little revealing. That's a little revealing, the, the picture there. I don't know where that one came from, but those were in the leaner days. But yet you can get an idea that things are still pretty big there. I mean, there's a lot to line up on the... This is a fake, obviously. You can always pick out the fakes, right? They're a little bigger. They're always a little bigger. But... That's more realistic. Uh, looks like he's boarding the Death Star or something here in this picture. But you get a you get a uh, a good picture of the cake here, and you know if you don't line this stuff up on the bidet, things can happen. And I'm just wondering if if it's not what you know he described the incontinence to that extent, but it's just not getting things lined up. You know, all the rich people have bidets. I, let, let's face it, it's it's a bidet thing with them. You know, they they all have bidets. Um, but you're supposed to use them with toilet paper, folks. Um, but he's also got this one issue where when he was in the White House, you know, especially with Senator Feinstein, maybe the, the toilets weren't working quite right. And he, he couldn't use the toilet. There's nothing worse than using a toilet that's clogged and then having to call somebody in. You know how it goes, you know, and clean it up. And there's, there's the, Yeah. Okay, so maybe the toilets were just clogged, folks. New book, Maggie Haberman of the New York Times confirms a habit of the former president that wasn't just unhealthy for the White House plumbing. It was mm. bad for the presidency as well. And she's got the photos to prove it. They're kind of gross, but also very important, Maggie. So very tell poignant. Us what we are looking at here. What am I looking at here? Brianna, thanks for having me. Gross and important. I think mm. are the two important yes. words here. Yes. What you're looking at is two photos, one from the White House. Thank which you, Maggie. Is what the one that uh, looks like it has carpet on the bottom. The other is carpet. from an overseas trip that a Trump white source. Who puts carpet in a bathroom? Does anybody do that anymore? A White House source provided me recently after some of the revelations during the January 6th hearing. Mm. Um, you know, this person, like a number of staffers I spoke with, while some of the testimony that has been heard has been disputed, generally found the overall picture of Trump to be pretty familiar with what they'd experienced and they wanted to share them. Now, again, as you He's say, He's flushing his notes. Going to make all kinds of jokes about toilets and so forth. No, they, no, they would we won't. The story if it was a fireplace. And the point is about the right. destruction of records, which are supposed to be preserved under the Presidential Records Act. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, folks, um, pics show White House docu docs clogging the toilet, allegedly flushed by Trump. So if this was going on during the Feinstein meeting that he was sitting at, you heard the... Um, maybe he was waiting for the plumbers to clear the toilet and because he was flushing his documents and, you know, things happened. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to give him a lot of room here, right? I'm trying to give him a lot of room in this situation, folks, but uh, just trying to give you, the viewer, a little insight as to really what is going on and what, what the culprit might be to the, that, that animal-like smell. And, um, you know, maybe, maybe try to give a little cover to, to Trump uh, in this situation, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's not depends. It's definitely prevailed. De definitely. I think so.